Ecamm fam, we have just hooked up with an incredible partner, and I can't wait to show you as it's integrated in this new version of Ecamm. We have just hooked up with Scenery Video. Scenery Video is an online collaborative video editing tool that is so easy to use, anybody can do it. So the next time you're doing a recording in Ecamm, whether it be a live stream, a webinar, a pre-recorded video, a course, anything, all you're gonna to need to do is press a button and you'll be able to edit directly in scenery. And again, anybody can edit in scenery. Let me show you how this is done. So I'll pop open live demo mode. Normally, as you know, you finish recording, you would press the end or the finish button and you get a screen that looks something like this, right? In this case, you'll see where I have, instead of just a show file, send it to YouTube or Descript, I now have a new section down here that says quick edits with scenery. So you can edit with AI, edit with subtitles, or do a custom edit. In this particular case, I did something like a custom edit. So you'll see here where I was finished, I clicked on it, it says edit in scenery. And once that happens, it begins to upload the video to scenery for you. Scenery is an online collaborative edit tool. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what that looks like right now. Here is scenery in the browser. And if I were to click on here, you can see I have all my projects loaded. I have my teammates projects, collections of brand assets. Everything is in a nice, simple place. So let's go to this first particular one here. And I'm just gonna double click that to bring up my project. In my project, I have that video where I uploaded it to scenery and all I need to do is press E to send that to the timeline. Now you can get granular on longer sections and just pull out areas that you might wanna edit and chop these up like that. For this particular edit, I'm gonna do a simple timeline edit, okay? So all I wanna do is come down here, I'm gonna bring that over to this. I have tools where I can know this section is no good. So I hit the C key to split that, the V key to turn it into the arrow so I can select it. And I'll just grab that particular area. I'm gonna come down here where I know I absolutely made a mess of it. So I can use the R tool to select like a range. And then I can press the backspace key to delete that, hit the V key to get rid of that. Now, you're not gonna remember all of these shortcuts right off the top. Here is the keyboard shortcuts menu down here at the bottom. It's a keyboard icon. It gives you all the shortcuts, or you could just select the tools by hand over here in the side. So now I know that all these areas are exactly as I want. I can grab this piece right here. And then if I want to hear what this sounds like. I could just back up to the beginning here, select it and press play. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up the Oz by Tiny 2 with Ecamm. I'm gonna now, before we go any further, what I wanna do is grab an Oz by Tiny logo. And all I did to get this logo in was just drag the icon and drop it in. So I'm gonna set this about here. As you can see, that's way too large. All I have to do is click it, just like in Ecamm. I will shrink this up a little bit, put it here on the top. Now, normally to animate something like this requires you to learn a little bit and say Final Cut Pro. I would just drag the slide onto either side of this clip. I'm just dragging those slide animations as I click this. I'm gonna go to my build in and we're gonna make this 0.25 seconds. And I'm gonna pull that in. I'm gonna take the build out and I'm gonna make this 0.25 seconds. So if we wanna let that play real quick. I'm gonna pop over to the overhead. You see the lovely travel case, it comes in. I'll go ahead and open it up and it slides right out. Let's make that slide out, go the opposite direction. So that way, in, I'll go ahead and open it up. There you go. And then if I come back over to my project assets here, right at the top, I see I have a little audio file. I'll drag this down. That will give me the quintessential swoosh. I'm gonna pop over to the overhead. There you go. You can hold the option key to drag the second swoosh to the out section. Open it up. There you go. So simple. Use the little handles down here to embiggen or unembiggen at your leisure. Same with the handles here on the side. I won't get into full editing capabilities inside of scenery right now. We'll do a whole video about that later, but I just wanna show you how cool this is. So I'm gonna highlight all of these clips right here. You'll see I have my play properties here. I can adjust opacity, adjust the duration, come over to my audio section, raise my audio up just a wee bit so that it's a little bit cleaner and easier for you to hear. 
And this is something I absolutely love about the way scenery works. I can click on this view. It's called the canvas view. Let's zoom this out a little bit so that everything can fit. And so what you'll see here is I have basically my master timeline. I am able to also make an IG cut and an IG square cut just by coming in here and say, I want to make one for TikTok. Click here, hold this down, drag in the timeline, and then come up to the top here, name it Tick Top. That simple. If we go back to our timeline, you can see you can edit multiple projects. I can come into the share window here and share with somebody on my team. Say I want Paul Duncan to check out the transcripts. I would just share that, and Paul would be able to see things there. Um, another thing that I like to do come here to the top of this clip and then I'll press on titles. I'll go ahead and say, create subtitles. I like this word highlight subtitle. So it's going to go and create those. And I can read through this and see that it didn't get Ecamm right. Nobody does. I'll just select the word Ecamm here and I just fix it in the title. And boom, as you can see, it is right there. This also didn't come out. Oh, B S B O T. I can't even do it. There you go. And then we know that the tiny two is the letter two. So it is just that simple. Again, all your projects in one place. Now I want to show you one last thing. Let's say, because we finished our edit and the best way to end the edit, of course, is with a happy puppy. I'm going to click on the cloud right here, go to pixels. And then here I will type in it, H A P P Y P U P P Y. Click on happy puppy. Go ahead and do a quick search on that. I will take this particular footage, add it to the project. Click back over on the project tab. You'll see that it's cute. It's transcoding. And once it's done transcoding, I can pick up my little puppy and drop it right there at the end of the timeline. Any care. There you go. In this first example, I showed you how to use the custom edit button inside Quick Edits with Scenery. You got to know there's two more buttons, right? There's the edit with AI button and there's the auto subtitle button. I'm going to pop over into Chrome real quick and show you what they look like. Now, those buttons are primarily the same as coming into here and say, putting your project on a timeline. And let me start with my endpoint about right here because I know that's where I want it. And I'm going to take my out point to about right here. Yeah, that's about it. Actually, there it is. There's my out point. And all I need to do here is if I were to press on create subtitles, that would basically bring up the same thing as I showed you earlier. You have the couple options of simple word by word or word highlight. If we were to press word highlight, it would go ahead and calculate those things for you and generate those subtitles. Now we kind of showed you that earlier. The other option would here would be to do the AI assist. If I were to press on the AI assist, I have some options here, whether it's an interview presentation discussion. In this case, it's a tutorial. I have a couple prompts here, or I can make it my own prompt. So let's say 60 second tutorial. <laughs> they don't completely wrong. Toriel on gray cards and white balance. And this will go ahead and generate that for me. If I say generate, it's going to do a little bit of transcribing. Normally that would already be transcribed if I created the subtitles and it will generate this AI project for you. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch this part happen. At this point in time, we have a properly formatted 60 second AI cut video with all the trimmings involved. So that will give you an opportunity to record a video and let the AI take a crack at it. Of course, you have your standard edit points here. So if you need to make any minor adjustments, that would be really simple and easy to do. There you have it. Two more ways that you can rope in those quick edits with scenery inside of Ecamm. So you can see guys, 
We will do a full tutorial, show you how to use scenery, but it is so nice that once you are done your recording, you can simply press a button, upload your files to the web and start to edit, share it with your team, get somebody to help you, grab a nephew or a son or a daughter or somebody to help you chop it up. This is so easy, anyone can do it. And I know you're gonna love this. Big ups to the Scenery team for joining up with us here at Ecamm in order to integrate Scenery video directly into Ecamm Live. We know that you are going to enjoy this. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, drop them down in the comment section below or send us an email at marketing at ecamm.com. That's marketing at ecamm.com. I will see you in the video editing section of your next project. Aloha.